What's up guys? Today we are back. Uh, we haven't posted it in a while, but that's because <laughs> there's nothing to post. We've been pretty much busy with uh, life. But we're slowly getting some free time and some time pretty much to work on our cars. And today that's the case. We got some time and we're here to help someone get his car running. All right, uh, I just got to James' house. Well, I'm down the street, but today we're gonna be working on his car. He tried to do the oil pan a few days ago, but didn't work out really well. He took a little bit too long to put the pan on. So the RTB dry and you have to put like the pickup tube before you put the pan. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's a little bit complicated sometimes. So I'm here to help him out and uh, hopefully I can try to film something. Also, we got something for the track or a vehicle for the track. Uh, I'll show you guys right now. Let me unload it and yeah. All right, so here we have a go pit, scooter, mop pit. I don't know whatever you guys call it. Um, I got this one on Opera for 50 bucks along with another one that I have at home but um, kind of fucked up the other one something with ignition but this one I got it to work uh, as you can see it's leaking gas and, and whatnot but it, it runs uh, and convenient enough uh, it works better right now because uh, James I have to park down the street and I don't want to walk because a couple couple blocks so we're just gonna use this one and uh, get there. And then let me see if I can do this with one hand. Got the S14 right here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing the oil pan, and yeah, just pretty much the oil pan, and I don't know what else. Uh, but yeah, you can see how he's working here in a really tight space. But yep. <laughs> All right, so try to play with the with the scooter. And we play for a little bit and now it starts but when you give it full throttle it dies so i'm assuming i'm not i'm new to this so i'm assuming it does need the air filter filter uh we put more gas with the mix it's good uh so i'm assuming it has to do something with this because like you kind of press it and like it doesn't come back like that so I'm assuming that's not supposed to be like that. We're gonna hop on James's car right now. We're gonna do the oil pan on right here. So pretty much to do this, you have the oil pan and then there's a pickup tube that goes right here. And the way to do this is you raise the motor and you put the RTV on it. That's where it gets tricky. You put the RTV on it and then you slide in the pan carefully so nothing touches the RTB and then once it's in then you slide the pickup tube and then you bolt it in first so yeah that's that's where it gets tricky if you don't do it right then you just have to redo it uh, because then you're, you're pretty much gonna mess up the RTB but it should be quite simple since we're here all right you can check it up now we got James over there we just got the motor mounts loose, so he's gonna jack up the car. So we get the clearance to put the oil pan on. And then the trick part is gonna be putting that pickup point thingy. A little more. Alright, a little more. Alright, they right there. So now we have. I think we have even way more clearance now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. Sick. It's this fit again. 
That was heavy. I just stomped on it. Oh, it's oh, put some PB blaster. Oh, you have some? You got some right here. That work. I had WD-40. Oh, it work. James finally put the oil pan on, and that means Eric can put his car in the garage. Yeah. After how long it's been since this car's moved? I think a year. I'm just kidding. No, nah. since December. December. <laughs> December. This car has been sitting here. Oh man, it's cold. But you guys can see the pan's on. We figure a way to put the pickup tube in. Uh, got the RTV. Got all the pans. Fuck, I mean, got all the bolts for it. Now he just has to put the oil filter. Put oil. What else you got to do, James? Uh, just put the sway board back on and then uh. Tighten the motor rounds and that's <laughs> it. And then who can park his car here? This guy. Let's go, dude. Should be Coming running along. again. You'll and see, see us can... at the track soon, you know? <laughs> Give me a couple of The me, car meet. <laughs> see me at the car meet. No, I'm just, just going to sit in the front still and do nothing. Collect dust. But, no. Nah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for yeah, today. Uh, I don't think I show much of what we did, but it's pretty much just talking. Just pretty much just talking for the whole time. Uh, but we got it done. Oh yeah, we got. I already show that earlier. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> got a good run. Oh yeah! Shout out to Eric. Uh, I got this thing that's broken. On on mine is the handle. So he just got a 3D printer and he print this. <laughs> Either melts or breaks no, when I pull it. Resistant. I don't know if it'll break. That's just pretty damn strong. I don't know. You gotta see me yeah. pull that thing. I guess yeah. we'll find out. I, I know. I want, I'm curious. So when you when you finish that, yeah. or I'll probably put it on tomorrow. All right, guys. So this is pretty much it for today. Uh, we'll try to keep you guys posted with this. But uh, yep. See you guys till next time. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's for you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs>